folks, and welcome back to Ravenport. Here we are, we are going back to the farm. We left the dealership because we purchased a 3.4 ton concrete weight. And also we purchased a... Something that's going to help us maneuver these pallets, which is part of the CSE pack. And yeah, I did try to use pallet forks and that, I was going to use pallet forks and that, but... Combination of greenhouse issues and a couple of issues we've had with some of the pallet fork mods I've been using. Yeah, now you got pallet forks base game, but I'll try to use some modded ones that were a bit more user friendly, let's put it that way, but yeah, they didn't quite work out. Because, yeah, one thing we need to do is either figure out some of the pallets or sell them, and for now, I am thinking on, do we sell them? What are they worth at the moment? Because we need money desperately, because our grass is ready to do tomorrow. And I could really do with getting them done. But again, it all depends down to how much they are valued. And after I go in straight past them, so yeah, things like her apples and that, they are worth a decent amount at the moment. In April, the price is going to keep on going down and down. So, I think I also think about storing these for a long term in that. But we need money desperately. So, what we'll do is we'll get these loaded up and sold. And then, yeah, I think we're still going to need to sell a couple of bits of equipment. Yeah, I'm just looking at prices because things like a forge wagon we need yeah we could do bathing and wrapping but yeah we've got, we've got cheap versions here like 25,000 litres I'm not gonna go with the unrealistic stuff 28 grand for 35,000 litres however if I can save up or sell enough stuff in get something like that the TARDIS M 50,000 litres for 52 grand. And we have the addition of a slightly additive tank, so that'll give us a 5% yield bonus. And all of that, we're going straight to this baby, processing 60,000 litres a month. But at the moment, I don't know how that's going to work out, so let me just quickly get this load up, and then we'll figure out how much money we'll have afterwards once we've sold all these. So alright, I think my strategy is going to be is this is the full load of everything we've got so far. And yeah, it is a lot of everything. So, I think once we do, once we sell these, we'll skip to March 1st and then go from there. And then we'll see what equipment we need to sell because I think, you know what, screw it, let's go with the big, massive, Forge wagon because I think that's gonna be needed. We've got three massive grass fields. Because yeah, we need to earn 250 grand as quick no, sorry. Yeah, 250 grand actually. To pay off half the loan before the end of the summer. So where can we get that paid off then? Less thing to worry about, so let's go and sell our items. I have no idea how much this is all gonna be all in all. But soon we'll need to find out. That is why I send everything and to be honest I think we actually hit 40 grand I think. So there we go, all in all, yeah, about 47 grand we've got now, so yeah, that was because of a minor correction I had to do here, because I can say maybe mistake with the economy difficulty. However, I managed to correct it halfway through because I was like, yeah, this was going for, up very quickly. But yeah, the amount we've got is the amount we should have gotten. Anyways, that ain't gonna be all of it. We're still short off to 52 grand. Oop, quickly beat the train. There we go. So yeah, I think what we need to do now is rest and yeah, because I don't think there's any contracts in that. Have a look. Nope. Got the bane contract, but can't do bathing because we need bather and wrapper and all that. And we sold all that, so don't get me wrong, we want to get a bit more money coming in. We will be doing more bean and wrapping in the fall, hopefully. 
use some more contracts that, but yeah, so let's hit my put. Let's get some rest. And let's get another load and see if we can hit that 52 grand mark. So there we go, we're in March. No, so there we go, we are in May. And yeah, just selling nice little bits of the fruits and all that. So yeah, this is what we got overnight. And yeah, can we hit that $52,000 mark? Because it's going to be close. Oh, please say you can hit it. Yes, we can. And we do have a little bit extra. Six grand. Ah, yeah, that's going to be an additional 5300 Yes. 53000 So, yeah, that is good. Ooh. Oh, only if you had the money. Only if you had the money, we would have gone with the X9 Combine. That would have been nice to have, but that is perhaps more, I won't say end game, be more mid game, but now we need to focus on the Forest Wagon. So we want this one. Ah, oh, 54 and a half grand. And plus, while well, we need like sludge additive as well, do I have these sludge additive drums or anything like that? Uh, yes, we do. So yeah, we've got. I think I'll get one of those. Actually, what I'm gonna do for now, we're gonna sell this. And I know we had the Maverick, like the, the, the Canna Maverick. But I can't remember if I sold that or did it get, get rid of because of the recent update. Because it had a recent update where you had the 4 cab option. But yeah, but since the recent update to it, I have not seen it at all. So I'm not sure. I don't know why we're weirdly banking to the left. But yeah, you know what? I'm just going to sell this. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why he was weirdly banking when we was riding it, but anyways, find the trigger, which is somewhere here. Repair and repaint. So that is 67 grand. That is enough for the forge wagon. So yeah, let's go and get that forge wagon in. So the adjective, yes. Colors, ooh. Since we've got Deutz for it at the moment, nope, not paying a grand and a half for that. No, I'll go with red metal. Red metal. Yeah, no, what? Something like that would do me just fine. So, yeah, 54 and a half grand. So that leaves us with 12,831 bucks. For now, I'm just going to leave all this stuff down here. I need to take this back up to the main farm and put it in storage somewhere. But, so yeah, we've got this now. But yeah, we need, still need to mow and windrow. I'm also not sure what the capacity of this is. So we'll fill this up. Oh yeah, plenty of capacity. And that would last us a fair while as well, I think. So. Let's take us back to the farm, get the mower hooked up, and start mowing the grass. And there we go. And yeah, with the size of these fields, this is going to take a fair while. So I'm just going to shove you over there. Last thing, I think we can windrow this with the pickup. So I think what, what we'll do is we'll start with one field. Once we move on to the second field, we get the worker on it with the wind robin because, yeah, like when we had swore fields and that, when we were doing all the contracts and that last year and that, that pickup was a lifesaver for us. But for now, we've got some moments to do, and this is going to take a bit of a time bit of a time to get done because yeah let's have a little look at the PDA yep we're doing small strips at the moment 
Yep, down the road, upgrading the mower will be a priority for us. So at the end of the day, the quicker we get these things done, the quicker we can move on and progress. At the moment we are progressing really well, like, in the course of an episode we went from being at the old farm that, the OG farm, we've sold it all, and yeah, we got a new farm and got some huge fields. And again, that's the part of the series is, the goal is to dominate the map, while you ever plot that. And yeah, we sold the original plot that, and that's because we need the money to expand. And I can guarantee you, the amount of money we're going to get from all this signage is going to be phenomenal. Anyways, let's get there and get all the moment done. So, yeah, let's get this all done. And I'll see you folks in a couple of hours once we're done here. Then we'll start on to the wind rowing and forging. There we go, we are in June now. This has taken us ages to deal with. That's because of the so capacity and so output of our fermented cider. So what I had to do was set things to sell. And yeah, because we hit the 500,000 year capacity. So if we have a little look. So yeah, 500,000 year capacity. 30,000 litres we produced thus far, plus another 30,000 litres in the trader. I'm being sent these to sell just because we could do some money coming in. So, yeah, I had to buy another silo, a custom fermented silo, and this is a real OP one for sure. 48,000 cycles a month, 100 litres to 95 litres. So, yeah, we're losing 5% of the grass for being fermented. But yeah, that is an extremely high capacity, and it's possible we just start doing that now in June because we need to get next or well, this year's crops planted. And yeah, I was on about doing corn and that, but because of the late thinking off about the fermented silo, 
Unfortunately, we've missed our chances there with that, so... I think for this year, what we'll do is just do soybeans. So we're going to get a huge profit from that. By that, we're purchasing land, get wood chips sorted. Because, yeah, wood chips are extremely valuable, so... It's worth do the odd wood chips here and there. Especially where we need to pay half the loan by August. So yeah, we've got two months left to pay a quarter of a million. And at the moment we have paid butt kiss. I was going to pay like 10 grand in that, but... Yeah, I thought let's get this signage done. And I'm glad I did because yeah, we're down to three grand. And also, every month we're paying 1600 in loan interest. I have accepted a little cheeky frozen contract on field free. It's all the way up north, I didn't take us too long to deal with. So yeah, I think get this last loop done here. And then we get one more afterwards and then we should be done. But yeah, that is a lot of grass we've done, like close to around a million million litres I think we're gonna have from this. Which for an early part in this series, I'm surprised, like I didn't think we'll get a million years, maybe half a mil, but certainly not a million. And yeah, all this could be sped up even even more if we had hay nats. So we could have made hay nats and process it at the same time. If we had a bunker silo, we could have dumped it into a bunker silo. And then go from there in terms of taking it out again and filling it back up into Silo, so yeah, three ways of getting. So yeah, putting 50,000 years in here. So yeah, we've got one tray filled already. And I think once we get this done here, I think we'll sell our first couple of loads. So yeah, we'll sell this load here of silage and the other trader. And uh, what is that? Have a look at our traders 30,000 a year, so. That uh, is 8,000 years of signage, which because it's this time of year, we'll get about 25 grand from it, so not much, but most of this will keep till the winter. Because that winter is worth about 350 bucks per thousand a year, so overall, ain't too bad. But, anyways, let me get this finished off, and then we'll end the episode here with selling the signage. And funny enough, actually the best price for silage at the moment is right here at the bell sell point, 293 bucks per thousand litre or so. Yeah, that's a fur, so yeah, 17 and a half grand, give or take. But yeah, overall, not too bad. And yeah, it will certainly help us pay off the loans and that. And actually, is it worth paying off the loan? I should sell and pay the loan now. 14,662. We need to get to August to pay off the loan. And it's worst in August, so. Oh, this is going to be problematic. Actually, I've got an idea. We've got contracts. A lot of contracts. So I'm thinking. Get these contracts done. So silage, silage, good. Hay, silage, hay. So two hay and four silage contracts. If for now we can get enough money to get a beater and a wrapper, and honestly, I am looking at around well, which one was it I was looking at? Something like this, a pot and jarnat. 150 centimeter round bells. Also wraps at the same time. A 150 horsepower out requirement. Combine that with go to wind rowers and basically a front mounted wind rower. Six meters working with for 80 horsepower. So all in all, that is what 200 and. 30 horsepower. We've got 247, so 
in theory we should be just about able to manage however that will require a lot of capital so actually I'm thinking a lot of the signage is going to be sold now so you know what let's quickly get something paid off shall we actually So there we go, we've got everything sold, so yeah, we're at 170 grand now, we repaired our Deutsche Fahrer and repaired and repainted the TARDIS, so we'll go and sell that. So yeah, that leaves us with 270 grand, and in theory, we can sell, sell the pallets, but with our money we've got, we can pay off the loan. Or at least part of the loan to get to the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar mark. However, I still think yeah, if we do the bathing and wrapping idea. Actually, I've got an idea. If I could do two twenty semi square bells, we could go with a cheaper option. Unless we want the bathing and wrapping done at the same time. Could go that route seventy eight thousand five hundred, but yeah, it's only a hundred twenty five centimeter bell compared to the pond, the other ponder, which is yep ninety nine thousand five hundred. Actually, you know, we could do scrap that. We'll just go with any of the other ones. Cause, yeah, these ones are. 84 grand. I will get the bail on Ed Turner. So, yeah, for 86 grand, why not? Why not, indeed? So, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do that. Also, for contracts, we will need a t tether. So, what did I use last time? Just looking at some of the other ones we got available. Honestly, that 16 grand, 8.7 meters. Not screw, we use the Kabota one. So, yeah, with all this, this is going to help us with getting that loan paid off. And I'm wondering, because, yeah, we've got 247 horsepower. Is there a way to get a better? mowing set up because yeah 6.2 meters is okay i think for around the 200 mark 200 change yeah go something like this maybe is it worth it probably not but yeah that is what 80 and a half grand 160 plus 270 is 230 so could do that even something like that 7.3 meters may not be as much but yeah, I think I'll definitely look at some mods and that, see if there's any mods that can help us with this. So yeah, next time we'll get a lot of these contracts done, we'll get the planting done. Because yeah, I think with all these contracts, we're going to make a lot of money from it. And yeah, with the extra bells and that, I think we'll be able to pay off the loan, but 
that has to be very close. And also we got soybeans to plant because yeah, if we look at our window, which is the last window for soybeans, and there was three new other crops we can do. Yeah, new other crops and that. So yeah. This could be interesting. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, where would you to do? Hope you're nice day. But for now, this is me from Envoy Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.